It's no coincidence that most hotel logos utilize similar two hues, or that emergency clinics are normally staffed by attendants wearing baby blue aprons. We've all experienced the impacts of shading, regardless of whether we've understood it or not. Most analysts agree that color influences the manner in which we see certain circumstances. A few scientists concur that our conscience connects colors with emotions, while others think that it is because of sentiments we related with the colors. Here are 10 colors and how each one has an impact in the way we think. Number 10. Red. We've effectively settled that our brain relates red with danger. Yet, there are a couple of other astounding facts about the manner in which red makes us act. An investigation led in 2012 found that waitresses who wore red were tipped between 14.6 and 26.1% more by men compared with ones who wore other colors. The explanation behind these ties into a reality we have most likely heard previously. Red builds the physical and sexual attractiveness of women. So, if we're going on a hot date this weekend and want to look our best, maybe we'll wear a bold red lipstick or that red dress we're keeping in the back of our closet. Other than raising our dimension of allure, red can likewise expand the speed and quality of our responses. An examination found that when people see red, their responses become progressively powerful. However, red can also influence our responses adversely. The examination additionally discovered that red expands nervousness levels. So an athlete who is going up against somebody who is wearing red will lose in general. And a student who is presented to red before a test will perform even worse. Number 9. Orange. Orange is a fascinating shade. Right off the bat, orange is a shade we generally relate warmth with. If a room is painted orange, we are bound to expect the temperature to be higher than it really is. In a quantitative report, analysts found that orange has an endocrine-based weakening effect on muscle functioning, effectively relaxing us in ways we can directly know. Orange is also thought to be regarded with great esteem. Stores with orange logos are seen as giving excellent quality, low-cost goods to consumers. Like red, orange also has a connection with risk, although it is not immediate danger. This could be the reason traffic postpone signs and street danger signs are orange. Number 8. Yellow. Yellow is related with sentiments of delight, joy, and friendliness. Color psychologists call yellow, quote, the strongest color, since it is accepted to be related with feelings, confidence, and creativity. The feeling most generally thought to emerge from being given the shade of yellow is happiness. This is the reason it is related with comedy, expectation, and optimism. And this is why we're all so much happier on sunny days. Wait, could this be the reason emojis are yellow? Hmm. Number 7. Green. Green, the wonderful shade of forests, the app on our smartphone, and that highlighter in a pack of four. Psychologists have discovered that green can enhance creativity. They've also found that green is related with complex thinking as well as relaxation and an overall sense of calm. When we consider green, we consider nature and development. So it's not surprising that we absorb those feelings towards ourselves by associating green with our personal and professional development. Consequently, analysts recommend painting workspaces green since it can make employees more productive. Interesting fact! Number 6. Light blue. Blue is usually the opposite of red. Light blue is the color of calmness and focus. It has been discovered that the light blue color will in general lower blood pressure, which could clarify why we feel calm around nurses and doctors who are wearing light blue scrubs. This may also be the reason clinics and hospitals have blue-colored walls. Number 5. Dark Blue This color has been found to calm the nerves of individuals who are exposed to it. However, it additionally has some other impacts on our brain and body. A connection was found between solid blues and clear considerations. This correlation was then utilized in Japan, where blue road lights were introduced with the expectation of avoiding crimes on specific streets just as suicides at mainstream railway stations. 
this attempt was considered successful after seeing a significant reduction in the number of crimes and suicides in particular stations. This concept was used in London, where Blackfriars Bridge was painted blue to decrease the quantity of individuals who jumped from it. Another study believed that blue environments caused employees to produce twice as many creative outputs as when they were in a red-dominated environment. This could be the reason why blue is the theme color in logos for companies such as Samsung, Intel, IBM, Walmart, Facebook, Flipkart, and American Express, to name a few. Number four, purple. Purple is a strange color to study. It's a combination of both blue and red. The two contrast. Number four, purple. Purple is a strange color to study. It's a combination of both blue and red. The two contrasting colors in terms of how they affect people. One investigation found that purple caused rooms to appear to be colder than what they were like how orange made rooms feel hotter. Purple thus has the contrary impact, straining muscles instead of relaxing them. A quick fact about the color, women often list purple as their favorite color, while men often list it as their least favorite. Number three, pink. Once it was a signature baby girl color. Now it's the color of every frat guy's shorts. Pink is an extremely interesting color. It has direct, measurable effects on the way people behave. Researchers have found these behavior-altering effects in what psychologists call pink prisons. Surprisingly, they mean exactly that. A late 70s study found these bizarre effects when prisoners were placed in a cell painted bright bubblegum pink. The inmates immediately became less aggressive and their muscles relaxed. Their feelings of restlessness and frustration also decreased significantly. Today, 20% of prisons in Switzerland have at least one pink cell reserved for unruly prisoners. Psychologists also tried to see if the calming effects of pink worked on kids. They found that it only took 10 minutes for babies placed in the pink cell to stop yelling and banging. They also found that most children even fell asleep in that time frame. Now, the next time you're wondering how to calm down your 5-year-old who's yelling in a shopping center because you wouldn't buy them a toy, Think about how some pink paint could make your life a little bit easier. Number two, white. It's no surprise that white is associated with a lack of aggression. However, did you know that men who wore white are perceived as more attractive? A 2010 study found that men wearing a simple white t-shirt were seen as being more attractive by women. It is a similar concept to how women are viewed as more attractive when wearing red. White is also the color we associate with cleanliness and purity. This is also why hospitals tend to have white floors and white ceilings. Researchers have found that white can actually lead to boredom. Spaces that are monochromatically white tend to hold our attention span for a shorter time than colorful areas and tend to prompt us to reflect on our own thoughts, separating ourselves from the environment we're in. This is why researchers suggest making retail stores colorful and interesting rather than aiming for the sleek but boring all-white look. Number one, black. Black, the color every angsty teenager overuses to channel all their teen worries. Black is actually the absence of color. We're scared of black when we're kids, but we use it to appear slimmer when we become adults. However, black interacts with our brains in interesting ways that we might not realize. Black environments tend to lead to effective outcomes, and black clothing tends to increase women's level of attractiveness and perceived taste in fashion. However, black's most interesting effect is that it can make us more aggressive. We tend to associate black with death and evil, and due to this, researchers concluded that we tend to become aggressive when shown the color black. It has also been found that people were more likely to pay more for products when they were advertised in a way that incorporated the color black heavily, such as in a black and white TV commercial. Write in the comment box which color is your favorite one, and do share this video with your near and dear ones. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications to be updated for yet another interesting video next time. Please subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for notification. Like, 
and share.